All right, everybody. This is a project I've been really, really excited to do. Um, and this is going to be a long series of videos. All summer long, I'm going to be doing uh, broadhead testing. Uh, it's just something that I think is really cool and fun to do. Um, so what I have here is um, the broadheads I'm going to use for my first round. I have the QAD Exodus, and it's the, the full blade version. All these are 125 grain broadheads, by the way. Slick Trick Standard. The Helix by Strickland Archery. And the Simmons Landshark. And you guessed it, this is going to be all fixed blade broadheads. I was going to do one on the Grave Digger, but I ordered the Deep Six by accident from Lancaster. So that's going to go back into the box and go back to Lancaster. Always great customer service from them. They handled the exchange, no problems at all. Um, and this is the ballistics gel that I'm going to be doing the penetration test on. This is a really cool product. Um, it's a clear ballistic gel. So I mean, you can see like right through it. Um, and I'm going to have a high speed camera set up. So as the broadheads are coming through here, you'll be able to see them open, um, you know, the wound channel, go right through it. It's going to be really cool. Um, the next round, I'm going to try and do some mechanicals and hybrid broadheads. Um, but for now, we're going to be doing these. And basically what I'm going to be doing is it's going to be, um, I'm going to do out of the box sharpness. I'm going to spin test them all, make sure they're spinning right. And then um, I'm going to shoot them through the ballistics gel. Just plain ballistics gel, no carpet, no leather in front of it, no cinder blocks or anything crazy like that. Plain ballistics gel so I can keep it really consistent. Um, just to get see the wound channels that they create and um, get a good basic uh, penetration comparison between everything. And after that, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do some accuracy testing at long distance. I'm thinking uh, probably like 70 yards or something like that. And I'm gonna shoot them at a feet of face, um, similar to this. And I'm just gonna plot them all I'm not going to be able to film the whole thing, but I'm just going to plot everything so I can kind of compare group sizes between broadheads. And I'm going to publish everything, obviously, on YouTube and on my website as well. So um, I'm going to take some of these out of the package and we're going to do some out of the box sharpness tests. Hey everyone, I'm going to do the first part of the broadhead test now. It's going to be pretty basic. Um, it's just a, going to be a, a spin test and um, a broadhead sharpness test. So it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put the broadheads through the rubber bands and um, the rubber bands, they simulate a vein or an artery. They'll move out of the way. Um, so if broadhead isn't super sharp, It'll just push them out of the way and it won't cut them. So um, both of these are just a pass or fail test. It either spins true or doesn't and it either cuts the rubber bands or it doesn't. So first up I have the QAD Exodus. Okay. Here's the uh, Slick Trick standard.
That's a definite pass. <laughs> And here's the Helix Broadhead by Strickland Archery. Right. So this is only going to cut two of these rubber bands. Alright, so it just barely touched that one. It's hanging by a thread. So I'm going to give that one a pass. Okay. And then here's the Land Shark Broadhead by Simmons. Okay, so it it nicked it a little bit, but I mean it's really not cutting it. Um, so Simmons, one side is sharp. Yeah, one side is really sharp. So either this needs a little extra pressure on one side so I think I'm gonna have to fail that one um, it's sharp it's definitely you could hunt with it but it's nowhere near as sharp as the other broadheads were it probably need a, a little extra stropping out of the box but they all they all spun great um, now we're gonna go to the range we can do the fun stuff we're gonna shoot through the ballistics gel Okay, so we're gonna do the penetration test now. Um, I'm gonna show you how we have it set up. So, I have the clear ballistics gel right here, and then the Glendale Buck, he's wearing the, the GoPro with the head strap, and then I have a high-speed camera. Um, so hopefully we'll get some cool footage of the broadheads going into the ballistics gel. The high speed camera, it only records for three seconds, and I have it set on the longest self timer, which is 10 seconds. So instead of doing the test from 20 yards, I'm gonna run back to uh, 10 yards and shoot from there, and hopefully I can get the shot off before it's done recording. Okay, man, that was a workout. <laughs> Running back and forth. Um, but the results are pretty surprising to me. Um, I would have expected the two blades to out penetrate the um, three blade and four blade broadheads by a pretty large margin, but the winner of the penetration test is right here. It's the only one that actually exited the uh, ballistic gel, and that's the Q80 Exodus. This right here is the Simmons uh, Land Shark, and it's, I can feel the tip of it right there. It's just on the outside of it. Over here is the Slick Trick. The Slick Trick. 
So it's a good bit inside of there still. I can't feel it at all. It's about maybe an inch or so inside the ballistics gel. And then underneath the slick trick is the helix. And that one I can just feel. So I'm gonna go first place QAD Exodus for penetration, second place Simmons Landshark, third place is the Helix Broadhead, and fourth place is the um, Slick Trick. As far as wound channels go, I don't know if you guys can see, the Slick Trick wound channel is not huge at all. It is, it's pretty tiny. Um, the Exodus wound channel is it's really nice. Um, same thing with the, the Land Shark. It's a pretty good one. Um, I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the Helix Spiral wound channel, which is really cool. Hopefully you guys can see that. So, let's see how it did rotate as it was going through there, which is really cool. And I shot that one at 1200 frames per second. So hopefully we can see it rotating in the ballistics gel on the high speed camera. But it worked as advertised and the wound channel is really nice. It's a pretty awesome wound channel. Um, so, fortunately I don't have any exit wounds to show you. This is 14 inches of FBI grade ballistics gel that these penetrated through. Um, let's look at the entrance wounds. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the entrance holes. So, here's the land shark entrance wound. QAD Exodus. Here's the Helix. And then there's the Slick Trick right there. Um, basically, they're all like the same size as the, uh, the Broadhead's cutting diameter. But for Wound channels, I'm most impressed with this crazy spiral wound channel of the Helix. It's pretty wide too, um, especially for its size. And the QAD Exodus made a great wound channel also. Here's the land shark. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out and see how sharp they stayed.